I'm Chris that running guy and what's not to love about being able to run down by the sea. So my half marathon training sub 88 has started. So I just want to kind of fill you in what's been going on. I actually started it last week, managed 42 miles which is the highest mileage week I've done in a very long time should we say. So what did that consist of? Well on the um, I think it was a Tuesday, went out of uh, Kerry, who was local to me, reached out and asked if we wanted to go for a run, which was awesome, because most of the time I just run on my own. Went up to Bertham, ended up doing about 11 miles, about 600 feet of elevation. Took the Wednesday off as per usual. I think another 10 miles on the Thursday, and then it was my first speed session, uh, which I incorporated in the park run. Because I get wet then. Which I incorporated on the park run, didn't go to plan, but if you haven't seen that video, I will put that up there. And then on Sunday was my longest run in a very, very, very long time, and it was about minus three. It was really, really cold to the point I could barely talk when I had to stop and ask directions when I got a bit lost. So that was half marathon. I uh, kept it in my um, aerobic zone as I did on all the runs this week, apart from the Saturday one. So really pleased with how last week actually turned out. Back out running today, and I feel you on in this one when I get home. So, 10 mile run, done and dusted, ended up at the church, which is in Lyminster. This is the church that I go to every Sunday, well, not every Sunday, nearly every Sunday. Wasn't a church goer until I moved into Liminster, but it's a fantastic community. It's kind of made me look at life a bit differently and have more of a purpose, if that makes sense. So the hell was the run today? Well, 10 miles, 808 pace, and just stuck to the plan. Um, just keeping it in that aerobic zone. I must admit though, when I get to about um, eight miles, my hamstrings do get a kind of little tight. So definitely need to do the strength work, which I'm going to do tomorrow. Also, how many of us do that on our runs? You know, we get into, decide we're going to do 10 miles. And then at the end of the run, we just run round and round and round until we get to that distance. Because we're that anal. Must be that runner's OCD. So anyway, I'm going to leave the run there. I'm going to get in the warm. And looking forward to get stuck into this training block. Um, to hopefully, not hopefully, I'm going to, I know, run a sub 88 minute half marathon. But there's definitely a lot of hard work, work that needs to be done. And I've got six weeks to do it. So are you doing a training block at the moment? Let me know down in the comments. And let's roll on tomorrow. It's Wednesday, which means strength training day. Day off from running, and I'm gonna be working on my glutes and my hamstrings and I'll quickly go through the exercise that I do. All right, so let's start with the first one, seeing as I've got a chair here and we don't need the band yet. So the first one we're gonna do is to work, let's say the glutes and those hamstrings, is to put one leg on the chair and then lay flat on the floor. You're gonna bring your other leg up to about 90 degrees. And we're, what we're gonna do is tense our stump muscles when we're doing this, and then we're gonna lift our butt off the floor. And we're going to do three sets of 10 on each leg. So one, two, three, four. Obviously, I'm not going to go through 10 because that'd be a bit boring. And then switch over to the other leg. You will feel the strain on the hamstring, not overly on the glutes, but it is still working it. The next exercise, we don't need the chair. So we get rid of the chair and you're going to be all fours, you want to keep your back nice and straight and your stomach tensed and kind of pulled in. You want to lift up one leg to about 90 degrees and you'll be pointing your toes and you're going to stretch them out nice and slowly. So that'd be one. And that's going to be working those glutes and hamstrings. Two, three, and you're going to get to 10 and you're going to do it on the other leg and you're going to do three sets of 10. The last exercise um, is going to be used in the, the band. If you haven't got one, it's not a problem, you can still do the exercise, but you won't have 
or it won't be as difficult. You're going to put this across your ankles and then we're going to lay on our front and all you're going to be doing is just pulling these up to about 90 degrees and then slowly back down again. Pulling it up to 90 degrees and slowly back down again and again we're going to be doing three sets of 10 on each leg. Do you do these exercises regularly? Let me know down in the comments and doing these exercises regularly is going to make sure that your glutes and your hamstrings are more bulletproof and that we're less likely to pick up injuries there and should be able to run faster. Right, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day off and I will speak to you tomorrow. You know, I like to be honest on the channel, nearly didn't make it out today. Looked at the forecast and at 10 o'clock it was minus three. And I don't know about you, I don't enjoy coming out when it's that cold. So I waited till it warmed up at a whole minus one and um it's still really really cold having to run at my kind of faster end of my easy pace which is about 7.55 per mile but it, i suppose it is worth it when you get to see views like this i probably need to wear the same coats that the sheep have got on so um what was i going to say i've lost a track of thought now it must be my age well what gets you out the door well for me it's this half marathon I got in January, because without that, I just think I wouldn't get out. Because obviously you need that motivation. And me putting the, um, obviously the plan up there, if I don't do it, then, you know, what, what am I like? At least to get those miles deposited, deposited, got kind of talking that cold. Please to get those miles deposited in the running bank ready for race day. It might have been really cold and barely taut, my lips are numb, but really enjoyed that. Went to one of my favourite places up in Burpham. Okay, it's a mixture of kind of flat and undulating, and sometimes I just stop to my kind of the birds of prey soaring in the uh, fern moves. I had to get a little breather. So what was the day's run? Well, my lips will actually start working again, I'll tell you. 10.1 miles at 8.07 pace. I say kept it more the kind of faster end of my easy pace because I was trying to warm up. So tomorrow off and then speed on Saturday. Right, I want to get myself back in the warm. It's Saturday and that didn't go to plan. So got up early for park run, run down there and it was canceled. Paths were a bit icy, um, but obviously they need to take a call uh, for their insurance and it needs to be safe. So I stayed down there for a bit, realized that I need to do some sort of speed session today because today's the day. And to just wait um, a little bit longer for it to kind of warm up and the paths to clear a bit and decided to do the park run on my own solo effort which i knew was going to be tough so initially i was going to go down there and do the session which i failed last week if you haven't watched that video but i put it at the end uh for running two miles at threshold pace and then just gunning it for the last mile so i knew that would be tough doing on my own especially with it being so cold today but luckily this is the last cold day before it warms up so we're all better to save some money on our heating and so i decided to go with a progression effort uh, it was tough mentally um, doing it on your own, but I managed to do it. First mile 6.30, next mile 6.20, next mile uh, 6.14, and then come in at a 6.07. So I ended up running 19.45, which um, I'm very happy with. I don't know why I keep on doing this with my arm, but let's keep it down here. So pleased with that. Um, tomorrow, I see running there, I run extra, um, so four miles there, and then um, I think about four miles back home as well because um, I wanted to end up um, probably wasn't four miles it was probably just three and a bit well it was ten miles in total um, door just over so I'm conscious tomorrow uh, I've got a busy day as you know I like going to church so we got um, a Christingle service first thing in the morning for the kids so the vicar asked if we can go early to help out make the Christingles you know the orange with the candle in 
So I'm not sure what time that finishes. And then there's a carol service at four o'clock in the afternoon, which will be fun. And hopefully bring that Christmas spirit, which I need. And so I will speak to you tomorrow and let you know what we're gonna finish the week on. Come on, it's Christmas week. So I went to the Chris Dingle service this morning, lovely service, and then come back home. And I'll be honest with you, wasn't too keen in going for a run. Had a coffee, was in the warm. Now I've got to go to the uh, carol service shortly and thought to myself, can I actually be bothered to go out for a run? Because it's windy, raining and cold. It's got it all out there today. I knew I had to run, ran about 9.2 miles to finish off a 40 mile week. That was one of my motivators today. Managed to get it done. Thought I'd run the distance, come home, 39.98 miles. So I had to run to 0.2 in my garden to kind of finish off that 40 mile week which to be honest really pleased with considering how bad the weather conditions have been today but my main motivator is that I've had a few people miss me saying I don't think your plan's going to work I don't think you're about to run sub 128 so you are my new motivator you know you are and you are the people that get me out the door yes I want to prove them people wrong they might be right but you know as they say the proof of being the pudding so how was your week gone? Let me know down in the comments and I will speak to you next week. Onwards and upwards. Cheers!